Let's look at the interface of Microsoft Word uh, 2016. On the top, you have what's called ribbon menu. And in this ribbon menu, you have multiple categories. I'm in the home tab right now. There are also file tab, insert, design, and you can just by clicking on the tab, you can quickly switch in between. Uh, each ribbon tab has its own category. So clipboard, font, paragraph, styles, and editing. These are the typical um, sections in the home ribbon tab. Uh, we also in the upper right corner, I'm sorry, in the lower right corner, we have a zooming interface so we can zoom in and zoom out real quick. And you can also, uh, by clicking on the button, do it. We can switch to a different layouts, print layout, uh, web layout, and also in the read mode to see which one works the best for you. And here in the lower left corner, we see how many pages we have, how many words and some other statistical information that's helpful. As you're probably well aware, Microsoft Word document is designed uh, to, to uh, managing the text. So I have a sentence here. Uh, this is my first Word document. And what you see, you see a dots instead of spaces here. Um, and the way I turn it on or off is by clicking this button in the paragraph section. I like this, but some people uh, see it as confusing. It also allows me to see the um, end of the line breaks. But let's first start with looking at the uh, clipboard section and see what we can do here. If we select this text and I'm using the mouse to do the selection and then I can uh, work with the selected te uh, text and this is what this clipboard section is all about. We can copy this text, put the cursor uh, to the next line and click paste button and it copied and pasted the text. We can also cut the text. So if I select the second line and I click cut, it put it into clipboard but it also cut it. I can paste it back um, and I can paste it many times uh, and uh, it will take the text from the clipboard and it will put it into the um, Microsoft Word document. Let's look at what we can do with text. If we select the text uh, that we typed, we can um, change the font properties. And you can do it two ways. Uh, you can select it and use the font section here, or you can do a right uh, mouse click, and you see on top it shows pretty much the same options. We can make it bold, we can make it italic or bold and italic as I did, and we can also make it underline. So combination of these three properties allows you to choose. Uh, you can pick the font color, um, or we can pick the uh, highlight color right behind this text and we can pick the styles and styles is a separate uh, conversation. It's a bigger, bigger topic because it allows you to do a lot of different things. As you can see, the style we select right now is just called normal style. Now let's look at the paragraph section of the home ribbon tab. In paragraph section, what we can do, we can uh, do different things uh, related to paragraph. We can do bullets, we can do numbers or we can um, increase indentation or decrease indentation. For example, if we're looking at this to-do list, uh, what we can do, we can make the t uh, title of the list as bold. And uh, you see that I misspelled the grocery um, here. So it uh, highlighted it with the red line and I just did right mouse click and uh, picked the correct word. But now we're focusing on the paragraph section. So in paragraph, you can make it as bullets. That's one way to do it. And I'm going to disable uh, the paragraph mark so you can see as it's a real word document. Uh, we can also make it as numbers or we can do it as hierarchical number, what's called in word multi-level list. Let's look at the styles section in Microsoft Word. So for example, if you are writing a book, you might have three chapters in the book, chapter one, uh, chapter two, and chapter three here and I'm going to delete uh, using the delete button so we see chapter three here as well and uh, styles are designed to help us organize uh, data that you might need to present and there are multiple benefits for you using the styles for example chapter one might be heading one style 
uh, regular text is typically a normal style and that's what we see chapter 2 uh, also might be heading one style but now see chapter 2 instead of just text it has um, subsection 2.1 and subsection would be the next heading style which would be uh, heading 2 and then we have also subsection 1 and this would be the text inside of subsection 2.1 then we will have a uh, subsection, um, this is extra text, subsection 2.2. .2, um, and uh, we will just use heading 2 style and chapter 3 would be heading 1 style. One big benefit of using this type of structures, it allows you to use internal features for Microsoft Word to do navigation. So if we go to view and then select navigation pane, you see on the left, now it builds the hierarchical structure. And chapters are on one level, but subsections would be on a different level. Hope you have learned something and enjoyed this video. Make sure to click the subscribe button to stay in touch with me on YouTube. And join my email list so I can share with you more information about my free training courses. Hope to see you back soon. Again, this is Vadim Michalenka. Thanks again for watching.